I'm not happy. I've got a bone to pick with the EFL. How come Millwall players don't get a mention within the team of the season? What else do they have to do? Where's the likes of Danny Ballard? Where's the likes of Murray Wallace? Where's the likes of Danny, uh, Danny McNamara? Absolute shocking. It's a, it's a fix. No one likes us and we don't care. the Football Manager Championship team of the season. You know the drill. It's Miles Jacobson and Darren Ambrose. <laughs> Long time no see, guys. Okay, let's reveal the championship lineup. The number one goalkeeper in the championship is Lee Nichols of Huddersfield Town. He's gone from the back benches to the dispatch box. He was an unused sub at MK Dons last season. He wasn't even offered a new deal. Even so, Huddersfield's head of goalkeeping, Paul Clements, saw his talent, pushed for him, and they got him for absolutely nothing, and he has been priceless. In front of him is this defence, Nottingham Forest's Joe Worrell. He's been a tower of strength. He's a Forest fan. It's in his blood. It would mean the world to him to take his club back to the top. His biggest test this season has been getting into his car. He is huge, but he drives a mini. Alongside Joe is the elegant Lloyd Kelly of Bournemouth. Their attacking talent has caught the headlines this season, but defensively they have done the business too, led by Kelly. Also making the team is Fulham's Tosin Adarabayo, who's formed a rock-solid partnership with Tim Ream. His telepathic understanding with Harry Wilson when building attacks has been key for Fulham too. His mum was so convinced he would go to university that it was only when she was sat in the stands watching him make his Manchester City debut at Stamford Bridge that she thought this is serious then. Next up is Jed Spence. He's been on loan at Nottingham Forest this season and he's become a hero on the banks of the Trent. He was released by Fulham as a youngster. He didn't know what he was going to do. What he did do was fight his way back into the professional game and now he's not looking back. Next up is Fulham's Anthony Robinson. He's been part of Fulham's resolute back line and has played a major part in their incredible attacking play this season. The midfield is made up of Bournemouth's Philip Billing, who's flourished in a more advanced position. He admits he used to wait for the ball to come to him, but he says one thing he's improved on this season is running after the ball and pressing. Next to him is Ryan Yates of Nottingham Forest. He had to fight to win some Forest fans over, but he's in their hearts now. This season he's worked on playing more forward passes, playing higher up the pitch. He even comes in on his days off in his bid to improve. Fulham's Harry Wilson has formed a double act with Alexander Mitrovic, supplying the number nine with the ammunition to fire Fulham to the top of the championship. Harry likes scoring a goal too. In terms of goal involvement, this has been his most prolific season yet. Guess who the two strikers are? First of all, the man who's written his legend in the championship, scoring the most goals in a championship season, Fulham's Alexander Mitrovic. Not only has he been scoring goals this season, he's been dropping deep and linking play too as his game evolves. Championship defences will be glad to see the back of him. They've seen his back for most of the season. And joining Mitrovic in this mouth-watering attack is Dominic Solanke of Bournemouth. His goals have fired them towards the Premier League, and like Mitrovic, he does more than just score goals. His all-round play has been key for Bournemouth. This team is led by Luton Town's Nate Nichols. Joe Worrell. Lloyd Kelly. Tosin Adrabayo. Jed Spence. Anthony Robinson. Ryan Yates. Harry Wilson. And Alexandra Mitrovic, along with Championship Manager Nathan Jones.
the championship young player of the season. And back with us to decide that is John McDermott. <laughs> Come on, John. Come on. <laughs> Well, let's take a look at the contenders for this title. This now is Mason Scabano. Carvalho with the offer. Carvalho! Spence, Ryan Yates. Johnson! Bullseye! Jed Spence! Just marvel at that! Another group of rising stars. John, which of them is the winner? The winner is the Championship Young Player of the Season, Nottingham Forest's Brennan Johnson. And let me tell you that Brennan Johnson's glittering performances in 2021-22 have firmly cemented him as one of the most exciting young talents in the EFL, providing comfortably over 20 goal contributions to aid Nottingham Forest's charge into the Championship Top 6. The senior Welsh international has certainly caught the eye with his pace, persistence and composure in finding that decisive pass for the net. Before you go, you might not have heard over all the cheering there, but you were described as one of the most exciting young talents. What do you think of that? Yeah, I mean, it's nice to hear, I think... Um... It's just all down to the hard work of the team, I think. We've all been really good apart from pretty much all of the season. And yeah, hopefully that can continue. It's like a breakthrough season for you. Any highlights that really stand out? I think definitely the goals against Derby. I mean, such a big game and for Nottingham Forest and really good to do it against them. Got a little glint in his eye. Brendan, congratulations. So well deserved.